What's going on everybody, it's Jamie and welcome to the channel, Thrift on Fire. Today's mostly gonna be a what sold video. I don't really have much of a shed update except for I bought some of these foam panels. They're acoustic foam panel panels. Uh, I plan on just throwing them up on this part of the roof. Uh, I still have to do um, the insulations. Insulation on the back wall there, if you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, I'm gonna probably start working on that tomorrow. I just got about 50 of these panels. These ones here, I have to, they're vacuum sealed. There's 50 in there, believe it or not. Um, I'm gonna test those out first. I was thinking about doing like a, an MDF board or something else up here, but I'm gonna try these first because I think they'd really help, especially if I'm gonna record in here. It'll help just sort of deaden the sound and make it a lot cleaner and there'll be less echo. I can't really do anything about the door is gonna give me echo no matter what. But uh, yeah, so that's that's kind of what's happened in the shed. I don't haven't really worked on it too much yet. I was just sort of trying to figure out what to do with the roof. Uh, but before we get into the what solds, I wanna just tell you guys about Posh Sidekick. Posh Sidekick is an app-based automation tool that will help you get sales on Poshmark. You can set up like silent auctions that are gonna be completely automated. You can do offers to likers. It'll help you do closet clear out with automation you just basically set up the parameters and it'll do everything for you but today i think i'm going to share five sales on poshmark that basically things that sold for me from offer to likers at five items ranging from like 20 to about 30 dollars we're going to do that rapid fire so that just means i'm going to go through those really quick with you and then we're going to talk about some good ebay sales uh that i'd made this past week pick this shirt up at the goodwill bins okay so it also had a few flaws here i'll see if i can find them for you so made in the usa a little hole here, uh, a little hole here. This shirt I've seen sell for like 50 bucks or better, but being that had some flaws, 28 bucks seemed pretty fair from the Goodwill bins. All right, this particular shirt, I think I picked up at Goodwill for like three, basically $4, whatever it is now, three seventy nine or the price always fluctuates a bit, but $4. So we have Dale Sr., Dale Jr. on the back. I honestly thought this might be worth more money, uh, but I got, I think this was an offer as well. Um, but 24 bucks for this guy, not a lot of money, but a lot of my Poshmark sales are like this, you know, and typically I do try to put the, the chest and the length in, in most of my clothing pictures, but 24 bucks here on Poshmark. We've got an Ed Hardy hat. Now this is a youth hat. Otherwise I think it might've been worth like 40 bucks, maybe 50 bucks. I think this came from the big hat buy or from the Goodwill bins, but essentially basically into this next to nothing, 25 bucks for this uh, kid's size Ed Hardy hat. Pretty typical to get about $20 to $30 right in that range. You see a lot of the low $20 jeans going out. These are a pair of, I guess they are like cropped jeans or they're more like shorts or what is that called? Like a Capri style. But these are a pair of Tord size 24 boyfriend cropped. Um, yeah, from the Goodwill bins, got $21 for these. We have this Wrangler plaid button up once again, right in the $22 range. A lot of this stuff goes out here for me on Poshmark. Uh, this is a pretty big size, 4XL, which is kind of why I picked it up. Sometimes the bigger size, you know, sell better. But this particular one took a while to sell, but I got 22 bucks for it. This particular Alan Jackson shirt, I didn't pay much for it, but I didn't get much for it either. I got $28. When I picked it up, it is from the 90s. I thought it would do much, much better. Uh, but they just don't sell for as much money as they used to. You know, it's got a really cool back hit too with the, uh, what is this album called? It was the big, his big one in the, in the uh, 90s anyway, I think. Uh, with the Chattahoochee and all that stuff. I think these are just the song names, right? Yeah, anyway. Uh, it was on a Fruit of Loom tag. Very nice shirt, 28 bucks. Uh, I would definitely sell this again if I could find it again. I don't find them that often, but like I said, these ones don't just sell. They just don't sell for the same money as some of the vintage rock shirts. If you want to give Posh Sidekick a try, my link is down in the description below. No credit card is required. It's a 100% free trial. You won't regret it. Give it a try. Um, so let's talk about some eBay sales, okay? So the one in particular you're, we're going to talk about first is probably my favorite in quite a while. Uh, it's the G.I. Joe Jet. So you guys see me not pick it up at a yard sale and we kind of talked about maybe it was overpriced. Maybe I was wrong. You know, that's always a possibility too. Just because I say something doesn't mean that it's necessarily right. Uh, this lady reached back out to me. I went over to her house. I actually did wind up buying the jet and some more things. Uh, I kind of had the thought that I was going to part it out and, you know, and that was going to be fine. Uh, after I looked at it better, it was more complete than I thought. I decided I was going to list it high, roll the dice and see what it sold for. Check it out. I think I've talked about this. I showed it on Instagram already and maybe on my Facebook page, but we haven't talked about it on the channel. So let's talk about that sale and some other sales we made on eBay recently. All right, so here's the jet. You can see sold and you can see sold's crossed out. 
how much did I actually get for it? Uh, 155 bucks. So, you know, not too bad really. Honestly, you know, 40 bucks into 150, obviously there's fees. You have to take my cost of goods out, but really I didn't put much effort into it. I just basically checked it out. You can see right here, uh, this actually makes a big difference. All these missiles, if you look them up, they're like anywhere from 20 to $30 for each individual missile. Uh, the one thing here, you can see both guys. However, the bottom guy, I don't know if he initially was supposed to have legs. You know, that was really the only thing I could see that was a flaw. You know, basically all the stickers were there. Um, it doesn't have the box. There might be other little things missing. So I just kind of basically in the description explained as much as I could about it. Uh, but pretty all, pretty, you know, overall is what I'm trying to say, I guess. I think this is pretty awesome. Um, I didn't really know how much it was going to sell for. I just listed it for 175 rolled the dice, thought, you know, if I could get around 150 I'd be happy. I think I even mentioned that on a couple of different occasions. And, uh, you know, that's exactly what I got, 150 Very happy about the sale. All right, we have The Return of Superman 1993. This is more of like a graphic novel style. It's not thin like a comic book. It's like, you know, heavier cardboard. The paper is heavier. It's a thicker book, but it is from 1993. Uh, here's the back, you know. I don't know what this is. I was just featuring all these people. You know, it looks like a comic book inside, but it is just a thicker one. I got 20 bucks for this particular one. This comic book buy, I've already... I'm well into the profit, but I have a lot of comics left. I haven't sold that many individual ones, but I've sold some of the individual ones that are like this, that are more the thicker style graphic, uh, like graphic novel, or some of the, I think some of the more magazine style ones I've sold, but individual comics, really tough to sell, especially these 80s, 80s and 90s ones. Um, still happy with the buy overall, like I said, I've already made money. I've lauded some up. You can find them in runs like one to 30. You know, you can get somewhere between, depending on, on a lot of things, but like, you know, 40 to 60 bucks. Yeah, but here's another one. 20 bucks, happy with this sale. Uh, you know, happy every time I see these comics go out. I've got a lot of them left. I haven't even went through all of them yet. I really need to get on that as soon as possible. Next up, we have this Hamilton Tie Cats Adidas sweater slash jacket. You know, it is a pullover, three quarter zip. It's that very moisture wicking athletic material. I picked this up for a yard sale. I think I might've paid up for it, maybe eight to $10. I'd have to go back and watch the exact video. I kind of thought it would sell for 40. I wasn't that far off, 38 bucks. I was probably thinking maybe it was worth a little bit more in my head when I was yard sailing because I didn't really comp it. Uh, I don't even know if you could comp this. I just thought it was a nice, you know, Adidas is a decent brand. Uh, tie Cat CFL, definitely, I thought, I, I think I thought potentially somebody in Hamilton or this surrounding area would buy it, but it's actually going to somewhere in the US. So that's kind of cool too. Uh, very happy with this uh, CFL, I'm gonna say sweater slash jacket sale on eBay. Next, I'm not really sure why this isn't crossed out, but it is the best offer. I got $48 plus shipping on this all over print Tony Stewart vintage uh, t-shirt okay so here's the other side it's a pretty cool all over print it did have a little bit of flaws you know I like to point out just these little things because if you don't somebody gets it and you know it's just reason for them to complain so if you're trying to show them all the little imperfections you know there's a little bit of staining up there I like to show that as well so it's not really that you know crazy that somebody's like didn't want to pay $60 for this I could have cleaned this up a little bit better but I did clean it up enough that I was happy with listing it. And uh, like I said, I wound up taking a best offer on this particular one of uh, $48 plus shipping. Next up, we have some Mighty Beans. Okay, so you guys see me pick these up out of the Goodwill bins. I think I talked about them on the channel. Um, I only listed one at a time. I have three different sets. Okay, so this particular one had some Pokemon, Pokemon in it, 61. I don't think in this one there's any doubles either. You can see my $99 is crossed out. Uh, it's got a really cool case as well. I actually accepted $75, which I still am very happy because I pulled these out of the Goodwill bins. And it was something that was just laying there. People looked at them. Nobody wanted them. These were like passed over. And I just went and saved them. Uh, I had just listed my second, my second set. The second set had some like sports figures in it, some superhero figures. You can look at my eBay store. They're listed right now for probably $99.67, probably exactly the same. You know, even though that accepted $75, I'm still going to list them high so somebody can come in and try to get them for about $75 bucks if they want. Uh, my buy cost of the Goodwill bins, a couple of dollars for sure. Um, so I have another complete set of 61. And then I think the last case isn't completely full 
but I would say there's at least 50 plus in the last case. Uh, but this one, this the next one that I have for sale does have a few doubles. Um, I probably could have did a better job to like look through them and try to sort them out better so that there wasn't. However, you know, I don't think it's that big of a deal either. Uh, happy with a $75 sale here on eBay for these Mighty Beans. Next on eBay, we sold a hat. Uh, this is a North Face hat, camouflage, digital camouflage. It's got that mesh back to it. This came from that big bulk hat buy. I'm definitely like, I've definitely done really well off this buy. Uh, if you wonder what I did with all the extra hats that I did have, I threw them in a local auction. Uh, I think maybe about, I didn't count how many, but I had, I think six different boxes. And I think I collected like an extra 50 bucks-ish. I'd have to go back and look at the exact paperwork, but not not a lot, 30 to 60 on the stuff that I probably would have just donated. So I got some extra money on that as well. And I still have lots of hats in my booth. We've sold lots of individual hats just like this on eBay as well. Uh, that hat buy was definitely worth it, but it's a lot of work to go through hats like this in general. So would I do that again? Maybe when I have the space in the shed, maybe I consider in the winter time when it's, you know, there's not so many sourcing opportunities, buying a big bulk buy like this again and going through them. But it was a lot of work. But uh, regardless, I'm still happy with this sale of the North Face hat for $25 plus shipping. Last but certainly not least is this Aerosmith guitar. You guys see me pick this up in a recent garage sale video where it was sort of an in so indoor, they called it an indoor yard sale, but really it was sort of like a defunct antique mall where they were just sort of liquidating stuff that was left in the mall. Uh, I, you know, I did talk to my, uh, to, to Scott and Adam, you know, from the, uh, the Sunday night show, the Scott sell stuff show. And they, they basically had said the same thing that they've been doing that for a few weeks. I just happened to stumble across it one day and I found this guitar there. Originally they had it priced for like $18 or something. That was the sticker price on it. I think when I went up front, I said, Hey, like this, I think I, I said like $5 and they said, that's fine. So you can see I took a best offer. It is crossed out. I didn't get the $85. I got $77 plus shipping. This is an Xbox 360 model. Couldn't be more happy. I love selling these guitars. They're a little bit of a pain to ship, but kind of once you, once you get the hang of it, like I know what box to buy now. It cost me about $3. I just use packing paper. I don't even, I don't even need to bubble wrap it with the box that I'm using. It's pretty easy for me to ship out. I have a pretty good shipping option for these as well. It doesn't usually cost me that much. As you can see, I'm only charging $12 for shipping. Very happy though with this Guitar Hero guitar. All the Red Octane guitars seem to do pretty well. I personally like to pick up the Nintendo Wii ones the most because they don't require a dongle. This one, really, you do need the dongle for, you know, for it to work properly. So it can be a little bit of a pain sometimes, especially if somebody doesn't realize it. But you can see in the description there, I put no dongle. So, you know, hopefully they realize that they need that, but happy with this sale regardless uh, on eBay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content and we will see you very soon.